glad you're here. The crew's been waiting for you, and we're ready to help you build what's next. Come on, let's go. That's right. Metahumans are now available for import into UFN as non-player characters. <clears throat> okay. So Michael's jumped us back into the editor so we can get a look at our captain behind the scenes. As you can see, we carefully optimize for both quality and efficiency. We've gone from almost one gig for a hero metahuman down to approximately 60 megs in UEFN with an average complexity hairstyle. And we wanted to make this process as easy as possible. You just save your custom metahumans in the metahuman creator. This captain character was based on the Rue metahuman preset. Once you have your creations saved in my metahumans, they'll be available to you in our new metahuman importer in UEFN. And depending on your project's requirements, there are also multiple quality options for you to choose from. Now, we can't talk about metahumans without also addressing the workflow creators use for creating costumes. There are many ways to author clothing, but in this case, we're using Marvelous Designer, a leading digital clothing software. In fact, we worked with our friends at Clo, the makers of Marvelous Designer and Clo 3D, to integrate our metahuman body data into their software and provide a new USD export option for your garments. That export includes geometry, materials, and the data you need for simulation setup. Now on screen, you're seeing the garment that was exported for Marvelous Designer being brought into the cloth panel editor in UE 5.4, and from there, we're setting up custom chaos simulations that have realistic cinema quality looks. As part of this tech in the upcoming UE 5.4, we're introducing an auto sim setup that has sim data and ingest, auto LOD generation, and auto skinning. In addition, you always have the option to take a more bespoke approach like we have here if you want more iterations and finer control. Okay, cloth physics are available in UEFN as early access starting today, and now we'd like to show you how easy it is to dress a metahuman character. Michael's gonna demonstrate this for us live in the UEFN editor. All right, take it away, Michael. Thanks, Pat. So the first thing we're gonna do is hide the default outfit that came in from metahuman creator. Next, we'll add a new uh, chaos cloth component. This allows us a place to drop our new dynamic uh, cloth object. This was actually created in Marvelous Designer, set up in UE 5.4, and imported here into UEFN. Now that we have that, let's uh, add a new animation. So we can see how the cloth moves. Then we come down to the cloth, turn on simulate, and just like that, we have moving cloth here inside UEFN. All right, cool. So from there, our metahuman is ready to be used in the game. And we're really excited to offer cloth physics in UEFN for the first time. It's so important for creating convincing characters. And you're not limited to clothing on characters. You can use cloth physics anywhere in your environment. At last year's State of Unreal, you saw the power of MetaHuman Animator in UE, and we're pleased to say that those same tools are now available to creators in UEFN. And don't forget, using our latest character device, you can also add a performance to some of your favorite Fortnite characters. You might have seen this in the recent Joke Night experience produced by Trevor Noah. For getting capture data into UEFN, we recommend using our new LiveLink Hub application. This allows almost all capture devices that can stream to UE5 to also stream directly into UEFN and get recorded there. Even more third-party devices will be supported in LiveLink Hub soon. 